This right here is actually not a baseball. It is the new outdoor camera from SwitchBot. Now this thing is only 1080p, but I gotta say, it is as good as some 2K cameras that I have tested out. Blown away by it, that's what we're gonna be taking a look at in this video today. So with that said, let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So this guy right here, the outdoor camera from SwitchBot. Now SwitchBot did send this camera out for me to review. Not only are we gonna be taking a look at the camera, but also a solar panel that they provided as well. And I gotta say, the quality of this camera right here compared to the price that I'm seeing, absolutely amazing. And that's what we're gonna be diving into this video. So first thing that I wanted to do is take a look at some of the features that this camera offers. So taking a look at some of the features on the box, we see that this is compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, meaning that you can actually tie this into either one of those ecosystems. So if you want to see a live view of the camera, you can do that. Uh, turning the box over, we have got free wireless installation, a 100 decibel alarm, 10,000 milliamp rechargeable battery, which I like seeing, weather resistant, it has a solar panel, this one does have cloud and local storage, and then flip it over to the other side, this is a 1080p camera, you have a live view through the app, so no matter where you're in the world, you can see a live view of what's going on with the camera. Something else that's pretty cool is that we've got AI human and pet detection, PIR motion sensor, two-way audio, and then colored night vision. So a lot of standard features that we're seeing on here that we typically see with most security cameras. Let's go ahead now and take a look at what comes in the box. So this is everything that you get in the box. We have got our user manual right here. This is going to be our mount for this camera. Kind of a cool concept. I'm not sure how secure it is going to be. You're gonna to wanna to mount that up high, but essentially you're gonna take your camera and it's just going to slide in here and then you can kind of move it in any direction that you want to. So kind of a cool concept that you can do with this one. Here is the camera itself. It's about the size of a baseball. We've got our image sensor right here. We've got our spotlights on either side, motion sensor right below that. We've got an indicator light, our night vision lights on the side, and then we've got our microphones and different things like that. Up here on the top here is going to be where we're going to be able to have our micro SD card. So we have a micro SD card in there. We've got our power port in there too. We've got an on off button and a reset button under there too. So that's nice. And then if you're going to do a solar panel, we've got a small little latch right here that's going to give us access just to that power port right there. So that's going to be for you to do a solar panel. On the bottom here, we have got our speaker and then we've got our quarter 20 mount there on the bottom. In addition to that, we also have our power cable. This is how we're going to charge up the camera. This right here is a double-sided, well, I guess not double-sided, but here is a sticky that you can put on the wall. So if you want to stick this to the wall instead of screwing into the wall, you can do that. And then you can screw this mount onto here. So that's kind of a cool way to do it. Here are the tiny screws that you're gonna use for that. We've also got our anchors and screws if you're gonna go directly into a wall. And then we have got our template right here for putting the screw holes into the wall. Now setting this camera up is pretty easy to do. We're gonna take the camera right here. I've got the app already loaded up and I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the power switch on. So we're gonna flip that on, set it right next to my phone here. And then we got a red light on the front and I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus sign on the phone. We're gonna say, add a device. From here, we're gonna wait to see if it pops up here. So it's scanning for Bluetooth devices right now. Okay, so it's not automatically popping up right here. Let's go ahead and find it down below. Here we go. Outdoor spotlight camera. So we'll go ahead and click on that. It says power it on. I see a red light flashing. Yes, we're gonna to connect to the 2.4. It does not support the five gigahertz network. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password. Okay, my light has switched from red to green now. Once this wireless connection is complete, we're all done. All right, now that we've got the camera set up, I'm gonna go ahead and install it outside. All right, so I have the mount screwed in. I only use the two top screws because I don't wanna just fill my board up with screws. I noticed that if I didn't put the screws in too tight, I could still turn the mount around and get it in the position that I want to. Now you can tighten down the screws so it doesn't move at all, but I was also worried about potentially cracking the plastic. Now that we've got the mount installed, all I have to do is slip the camera in and position it. I'm gonna look at a live view on the app and then position the camera exactly how I wanna set it up. Now we also have the addition of the solar panel. For me, I just plug the solar panel into the little door on the top of the camera that is helping keep it weatherproof. 
and then I either can set it just on my roof or in my gutter. Typically, I like to put it in the gutter. That way, if there is a lot of wind or something like that, I don't have to worry about it blowing out or anything like that or blowing off the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick mine in the gutter and that gets it plenty of sun to keep the camera topped off. Now, when you get the camera loaded up in the app, it's gonna be there right front and center, which I like. You can go ahead and tap on the camera to load up a live view of what is going on. We've got our detections down below there and I just kinda wanna quickly go through and show you just some of the key features that this has. If we take a look here on the bottom, we've got three different tabs. This one is going to be features. This is gonna give us just kind of like a shortcut or a quick launch to some of the feature options that we have right here. And then we also have playback. So we've got our options for our micro SD card. If we do put that into the camera, it is sold separately. And I will also have some links below of ones that I recommend. And then we also have our option for cloud video. So you do have that option. If you do want to do cloud videos, here is what the payment options are. Taking a look at the settings, I'm gonna click the gear icon up in the top right corner and there are a few that I wanted to point out. Motion detection, so here is where we're going to be able to set up what kind of detection notifications that we want. Whether it's human detection, pet, all detection, you can set that up through there. We've also got detection mode. So if I tap on this, and I go to customize, you can set the length of how much recording you want to do with this camera right here. Now, by default, I believe it was up to 60 and then down to 20 right here, but I went ahead and I adjusted mine to how I like it more. Backing out of there, one more that I want to show, we've got our basic camera settings right here. This is going to allow us to adjust our power modes. We've got our night vision right here, and we also have our option for our video display and what we want to display on the screen. Okay, now that we have taken a look at some of the features of the app, let's go ahead and see some demos of what this camera is capable of. All right, so here's what the camera looks like during the daytime. I'm about 10 feet away from the camera right now. I'm gonna go to back to the fence over here, which is about 35 feet away from the camera. So taking a step back all the way to here, you can see and listen to what it sounds like. And you can even pick up the audio of me being that far back, about 35 feet from the camera. So next thing that we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking a look at the camera of what it can do at night with that spotlight on and the spotlight off. Testing out the night shots with this camera with the spotlight on. About since we had see two little spotlights on the front of that, let's take it all the way back here and see how bright it gets all the way in the back here. Hopefully, I'll get into a spider web out here. It is in the reverse season. But uh, that is what the camera looks like with the spotlights on. And now we're going to take a look at turning the spotlights off, giving you guys an idea of what that looks like. All right, as promised, this is what the camera looks like without the spotlight on. You can see me about 10 feet away. Let's take it all the way back here, give you guys an idea of what kind of image this thing is looking like with no lights on whatsoever. So here we are, about 35 feet. It's kind of bright out here. It's not super dark, but um, it is overcast. We're not getting any moonlight or anything like that, but this is what the camera looks like with no spotlights at all. What do you guys think? Wait, what? Did you see the daytime shots of that camera? Let me show you guys again right here. Here is the daytime shot. Look at the quality of this thing right here. And watch, when I zoom in, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. This is only a 1080p camera. This is not a 2K camera. Let's zoom in on me all the way back here. I'm 35 feet away from the camera, all the way back there. And you can still zoom in on this and get a great image on it. I gotta say, I am quite impressed of what this 1080p camera can do, especially for something that's under $100. Now, it's not all perfect. I have had some issues with the app. Small things that have seemed like little glitches. One, for example, is if I load up the app and watch a live view of the camera, and then I just close out of the app, maybe go into some other apps, come back to it, and I tried to load up the live view again, it doesn't always load up. Sometimes it fails, and to fix that, I've had to close the app out completely, relaunch the app and then everything seems to work again. But to me, those are things that can be software fixes down the road. Now when it actually comes to the hardware of this camera and the video that it's producing, I am quite impressed. If we take a look at those day shots, very impressive. Now when it comes to the night shots, I was a little bit blown out by what the camera was producing. The spotlights didn't seem super bright at nighttime, but if you look at me when I'm about 10 feet away from the camera for the night shots, 
my face is kind of blown out. The detail is a little bit lost. So I hope they turn that down a little bit or at least adjust those settings in the camera to make that night shot a little bit better. Now, when it came to the nighttime shots, now we're taking a look at nighttime shots. To me, it is pitch black outside. It's kind of hard to tell from the camera because from the camera, it looks like the sun might just be going down and it's just dusk in my backyard. Not true, it is pitch black out in my backyard. And this is the shot that we're getting. Now it is pretty grainy. It's not the best of sharpness and maybe quality that we're getting with the daytime, but to have no lights on whatsoever, and this is what this camera is producing, I was really impressed by it. Now, this being an outdoor camera, I'm gonna have the spotlights on all the time, so that's not a feature that I will probably use all that much, but if you are somebody who does not want to be using those spotlights, maybe not all the time, you have an example of what it can produce. Now, as we saw with the mount for this camera, it just slips in and can easily slip out. So if you are looking to get this camera, I would recommend putting it somewhere that is high, not easily reachable for somebody to just grab it because storage on this device is saved either locally on the camera if you put a micro SD card in it, or you can save it up to the cloud, which is going to be just more secure. If somebody does take it, all of your footage is still up there on the cloud. Overall, what you're getting for the price of this camera, and you can even bundle in a solar panel, I think it is a great value. The quality is awesome, the features are awesome, the app needs a little bit of work, but not too much, and something that can be easily fixed down the road. If you guys are interested in this camera, I do have a 10% off coupon code from SwitchBot, which is good either on their website or on Amazon. So here it is right here. If you guys want to check that out, use that coupon code for 10% off. If you want to know more about the camera, check out the links in the description. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.